everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel, and today I'm excited to share with you my recommendations for Sensi's powerhouse fragrances. I have gotten so many questions as of recently on what I would recommend for uh, powerhouse fragrances. Now, what does that mean? If you may be a little bit newer to um, not even Sensi, but just home fragrance in general, that means we are going to be talking about fragrances that will punch you in the face. <laughs> I love me a really good strong scent. Now, Scentsy offers scents all across the board. I mean, there are some that are really light, there are some that are more middle of the road, and then there are some, a lot of them we're gonna talk about today that in my exper experience, they're crazy strong. They may last a really long time, um, or when they are performing, they're crazy, crazy strong. Now, majority of these that I am going to talk about, now there are going to be a few exceptions for things and I will talk about those things. Um, I haven't warmed, I know this is gonna be crazy, I have not warmed absolutely every single fragrance that Scentsy has to offer. Um, there's just some things that like, if I smell it in the little tester, it's not really my cup of tea. I'm not going to warm it in a bar, right? So but i have heard from people whether it's my friends and family on a couple of things um on how strong they are there's really just a couple of them though because i love pretty much all fragrances but we're gonna go ahead and get started because we have 31 fragrances to talk about oh my goodness so there's 28 in the regular catalog and then we've got two that are special disney fragrances and one scent of the month let's go ahead and talk about the scent of the month because the scent of the month um is actually going to be the may scent of the month and it is so good you guys oh <laughs> if you didn't see that video i will link it down below uh, i just got my kit in and the scent is everything it's um it's called buzzworthy and this is really a hit or miss fragrance people either love it or hate it I'm on the love it spectrum. <laughs> I absolutely love it. For me, this scent is very sweet, sugary honey with like an almond flower note. It's almond and then there's a little bit of a floral note, but I like to call it almond flower. And then vanilla. It is so good, so sweet, and it is a crazy powerhouse. This has been a super great performer. I'm really, really happy with this one. Let me uh, tell you what Sensi says about this one. Um, but I basically agree with the entire description. Buzzworthy, this is going to be available starting May 1st. So if you are going to be looking on my website or your consultant's website today, you've got about another week. So hang tight, friends. <laughs> Buzzworthy, spread the word about this tasty blend of sugared almonds, creamy vanilla, and a drizzle of sweet honey. It's so good. But like I said, people are either loving it or hating it so far, so... But I love it, and it would be definitely one I would recommend for a powerhouse. Okay, the next one, and this is not in any particular order. This was just, I was flipping through the catalog, and I was like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, Coco Lime, oh my goodness, and this is a new one to this particular catalog, this spring and summer season. It's actually going downstairs, and it is so good. It is rocking my world. I love this. I'm not one that usually is like, man, I really love this lime scent. That's not usually me. I like lime, but it's not like one that I crave. This scent I crave. And you know what part of it is? So the, it, there's this creamy coconut milk with it that kind of sweetens up the lime, but it's still maj majority of this scent um, is mostly that zesty lime. And you know what this always reminds me of? This has a very emotional connection for me because this, it's such an authentic lime scent that it reminds me of besides the obviously coconut milk sweetness to it but this reminds me of going to my grandparents house um they had lime trees and they had lemon trees and i just they'd always have like fresh lime and so smelling this kind of reminds me going to going over to their house and it was just like i can almost like envision their their house you know so this is kind of an emotional connection for me so I do really, really like this one. And this one, I feel like if it does actually go away for the uh, fall and winter season, which I can see it probably would, I might even add it to my club. It's just that good. Crazy, crazy good performer as well. So love that one. Coco Lime, definitely a crazy good powerhouse. Next one we're gonna talk about is Berry Bright. This one's another new one this season and it is really nice. This is a, this is like sugary, sweet blue raspberry cotton candy. <laughs> It's very, very good, very sweet. Definitely like sweet blue raspberry. 
and it's really strong. I do love that. I did not read you the description to Coco Lime. I apologize. Let's rewind just a little bit. Coco Lime. Coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. Absolutely everything about that. It's so good. Okay, moving on to Berry Bright. Blue raspberry and fresh clementine light the way to sweet sugar plum. I don't get any clementine from this. Like, I don't smell this and, and think, hmm, there might be some citrusy notes in this. No, it's like, for me personally, what I smell is just blue raspberry cotton candy. It's delicious. So, and it's really, it's strong in my opinion too. Oh my gosh, another new release. And this one is a definite favorite, definite club worthy, and it is Rainbow Sherbert. <gasps> you guys. The, oh. mm, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And I don't generally like... <sighs> I do like the really sugary sweet, but honestly, when I first smelled this, I thought, well, this is going to smell kind of like a fruit punch kind of thing. No, it really is like a Rainbow Sherbert. But there's this really interesting zesty like lime that kind of zings through the sweetness and I just love it. It's such a perfect balance between the sweetness of the like, I guess, sherbet. <laughs> it's just, it's so sugary sweet, but then that zesty lime kind of pops through and it's just, it's so unique and different and I love it. Mm, I love it. Uh, Sensi says, it's a classic. This is Rainbow Sherbert, you guys. It's a classic. Orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. Zing, just like the real thing. Um, I definitely get the orange. I definitely get the strawberry. I definitely get the key lime. It's so good. Oh, it's amazing. And this is a, this is definitely a powerhouse. Definitely. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Crazy powerhouse. Amazing. Love it. Next one is Camu Camu. And this one has been around for a little while. And it's just, it's wonderful. This is a spring and summer staple around here, along with another scent that we're going to talk about. Because this is very similar to another scent. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you hear me talk about it quite a bit. Um, this is just tropical fruity. That's it. Um, in the description, it does talk about like a camu camu fruit. I don't know what that smells like, but I know I like it. Uh, Sensi says, tropical oasis of lush mandarin, camu camu, and passion fruit. It's just tropical fruity. It's delightful and it's a really great performer. So add that to your spring and summer fruity powerhouse list. <laughs> Next one is Pina Colada Cha Cha. This had to make my list because this is a really great performer as well. It smells just like a Pina Colada. I know you're shocked, right? You get the coconut, you get the pineapple. It doesn't smell boozy in any kind of way. It's just, it's sweet, wonderful paradise goodness. So. If you're looking to get away <laughs> from this quarantine and imagine you're on a beach somewhere with a little umbrella drink, pop this in your warmers. Pina Colada Cha Cha. Since he says, island coconut and zesty pineapple lead, white rum and vanilla bean follow. I, like I said, there's no boozy note to this. So if you're afraid of that, there's I, I don't smell any rum in this. Next is coconut lemongrass. This had to make my powerhouse list because, for so many reasons, because it's a powerhouse. But in fact, this is actually a mix that I have going on downstairs right now, um, is the cocoa lime with, no, I lie. Just kidding, I lied. I was gonna do this mix, coconut lemongrass with uh, cocoa lime. It's a beautiful mixture, I've done it before, I'll do it again, but um, it's a different mixture. We'll talk about that, that's a whole different video. <laughs> Coconut lemongrass is amazing though. I love it because it's different from just your average lemon scent. You get that little bit of sweetness from the coconut and the zesty, the zesty lemon, lemongrass kind of feel. It's just really nice. And this is the absolute hands down best scent. If I had to recommend one scent to eliminate food odors, if you are making fish, if you are making some kind of greasy steak that is delicious <laughs> if you are making uh bacon sausage that sort of thing those types of scents curries um those types of scents that tend to linger for a really long time and you're waking up one two days later and you're like i can still smell dinner <laughs> like i don't like smelling food the next day unless i'm getting ready to eat it um this is going to eliminate all those food odors no questions asked without any issues it's delightful 
and it is a bestseller for very good reason. Since he says coconut lemongrass, creamy tropical coconut, and sunny bright lemongrass. Simple to the point, and I couldn't agree more. Had to make my powerhouse list, so that's coconut lemongrass. Next, sorry guys, I made a list. Blue Grotto. Mm -hmm. This is another really fun, fruity fragrance. Definitely one of Sean's favorites. This is, and I've heard people say that this is very similar to um, Capri Blue Volcano. I believe it's, it's a candle. I think Ulta carries it. They also have other body products. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, um, this is, it's just a very, it's very fruity. I know that's not super helpful. There's like, it's kind of citrusy. It's on the citrusy side of fruity. So if you don't really like citrus type scents, you may not love this, um, but it's a bestseller and it's crazy strong. Uh, let's see here. Sensi says, Blue Grotto, run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus and lush botanicals. So I got the citrus note there, but mm, it's so good. Sean loves this one and it's a strong scent. So that's shocking because he's kind of, picky when it comes to strong scents. <laughs> he doesn't like to be suffocated when he walks into the house. To each his own, I guess. Uh, the other scent that I said I love to pair along with Camu Camu is Skinny Dippin'. And this is definitely another Roberry favorite during the spring and summer months. Um, and this one would actually be a fun one to mix with Camu Camu, actually. Um, this one, for me, I smell... And this is one of the scents that my nose kind of goes rogue here. <laughs> um, my sniffer smells tropical fruity. Like I get melons and pears and I get kind of like a mango kind of situation here. Apples, pears, mangoes. I think it's always the mango that's not supposed to be there, but my sniffer's like, no, there's mango in there. It's really good though. <laughs> it's really nice. Sensi says, where are you at skinny dipping? Skinny dipping, fresh green apples, perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears. So yeah, I get the apples, I get the melons, I get the pears, and I also get mango. I, I don't know. It's good though. <laughs> and maybe if you wanted to like, oh man, I think I am gonna do this mix sometime this summer, this spring and summer. Camu Camu and skinny dipping. Yes. If I had to pick, oh gosh. If there's time, if my camera doesn't cut me off, I may pick like a top three or six of all of these powerhouses. I guess I better start making a pile. It's gonna have to be six. <laughs> okay, next one, sugared strawberry. This one had to make my list as well. This one, I'm so happy it came back for the um, actual spring and summer catalog because this was a scent of the month from last year. And this is such a good strawberry scent. Um, close to my favorite strawberry scent for sure. Absolutely, my hands down my favorite strawberry scent is and always will be coastal strawberry. We don't have it here in our region anymore, but this is just, it's a very authentic sugared strawberry scent. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's crazy strong too. Since he says, sugared strawberry, a blend of luscious strawberries, juicy currants, and California sun-kissed lemons. So I feel like that's, once again, I love that balance between super, super sweet and like a bright citrus note. I just feel like they marry so well and complement each other perfectly. So mm, this would have to be like a maybe. <gasps> oh gosh, how am I going to pick? Okay, next one is squeeze the day another really great lemon scent so if you are like a lemon lover through and through and you're like i want all of the lemon scents and i want all of the really good strong performing lemon scents definitely pick up coconut lemongrass we even have a couple others that have lemon in it but these are just what i have personally chosen for powerhouses um this is this is more of a like there's no coconut note to this it's definitely different this is a much sweeter lemon scent than coconut lemongrass coconut lemongrass is more like zesty and bright and almost energizing this is more almost like a bakery lemon scent oh, it's so good i do really really love this so that is squeeze the day and since he says a tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream and that vanilla cream is really what sweetens it to make it more of a uh, bakery based lemon scent next one aloe water and cucumber now this one i hate to this is a powerhouse because it's a really great performer 
Is it going to suffocate someone when they walk into your house? Not that you want that to happen, but no, like, it's, it's a really good performer. Like you, you walk in, you definitely know it's there, but you're like, it's not going, it's not going to be suffocating. Like I said, I don't know how else to describe it, but it is a really great performer. So I felt like this one was on the fence where like some of these, like Sean will walk in and be like, Oh, we need to turn some of these warmers off. And I'm just like, no, mm -mm. this one, he has no issues with all like 17,000 of my warmers on. Cause it's strong. You know, it's there, but it's not like offensive. If that makes sense. And this is just, this is more of a clean, a fresh, clean scent. I love the sweetness of the cucumber, the clean um, essence that you get from the aloe. It's just, it's, lo it's so lovely. I love it. If Scentsy ever did away with this one, it would have to make our club for sure. So Scentsy says, aloe water and cucumber, aloe water and cucumber peel, palm frond and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. That's why my husband likes it. All right, where are we at? Amazon Rain. This one I don't tend to warm so much in wax form anymore because I kind of ruined it for myself. <laughs> when um, when Scentsy first released our cleaning products, they came out with Amazon Rain and I bought Amazon Rain and all the cleaning products and I ruined this for myself <laughs> because now whenever I smell this, even though it's been years since I've used Amazon Rain in um, both in wax and the cleaning products, um, I still just smell like cleaning products. <laughs> now that's what I smell. I'm like, hmm, should I be dusting? <laughs> like, I feel like I should be washing something down or something, you know, but I, it is really, really nice. I get this, like it's for me. And this is another scent that my nose goes rogue over. This is like a lemon lime floral. I know that sounds strange, but it's really, really pretty. And it's crazy, crazy strong, crazy strong. Like if you are kind of sensitive, you're like, well, I want something that's strong, but not suffocating. This is going to be one of the ones that's going to suffocate you. I can almost promise you that. Maybe start with just one cube if you're worried. <laughs> Cause this one packs a punch friends. Uh, Amazon rain set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming Jasmine. So as I told you, my nose went rogue on this one and I don't get melon, possibly orange zest. I don't get coconut milk because this doesn't smell sweet to me. This smells more like zesty floral. <laughs> I know I'm weird, but you guys love me. That's Amazon rain had to, had to, had to make my powerhouse list for sure. Moving on. We have clothesline this one you guys if i had to write if someone came to me and said i don't care what it smells like i want the strongest scent that sensi has to offer i don't care what category it is i don't care i just want the like i want to suffocate people across the street <laughs> when i turn my warmers on clothesline folks clothesline is definitely in my opinion the strongest scent that I think Scentsy has ever offered. Ever. Ever. <laughs> it's so strong. It's really, really good. Um, kind of funny note to this. So this smells, um, this is definitely like a sweet, it's a sweet laundry scent. But what's so funny to me is this, to me, on certain notes of it, it smells like fruit striped gum. <laughs> Kid of the 90s 80s and 90s here um so like i just smell i i'm like oh fruit stripe gum <laughs> i know that's weird my nose I, i'm telling you my nose does its own thing clothesline crisp greens orange flower creamy violet and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry so it is a think of <sighs> the next scent we're going to talk about is pink cotton so it's it's definitely I think if you like pink cotton, you're really gonna like this as well. And I think if you like clothesline, you're really gonna like pink cotton. They're very, very similar, but this is more of that sweet laundry scent without it being like a berry sweet laundry scent, if that makes sense. So it's good. And this is, this is the powerhouse of all powerhouses. Of powerhouses. <laughs> so that's clothesline. 
Next, we have pink cotton. This is what I was just talking about. So this one is like I said, it's, oh, I love it. This is like a sweet, and I know it sounds strange to mix fruity with laundry, but trust me. And this is one that when I smelled it in the tester, I was like, okay, this is interesting. I don't know that I want to warm it. And then I was either at somebody's house, I think it could have been my mom or someone was warming it and I was like, oh, this is so good. It's so good. And it is. And this is absolutely my favorite scent in the laundry products. Absolutely. So it's strong in the laundry. It's strong in wax. I would say it's pretty close to being as strong as clothesline, but clothesline still takes the cake every single time. Since he says pink cotton, find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity berries, fruity pink berries, and vanilla sugar. It's so good. It's so, it's so good and so different. So I love it. Had to, oh, has to make my list. Has to. Okay, next, newborn nursery. Now, this is one I personally don't like, but I know it's a powerhouse. It's crazy strong. I've got friends that absolutely love it. Um, it smells like baby powder. <laughs> uh, no, can't do it. I don't have kids. So it do this doesn't like trigger any memories for me. So I'm sorry for that. But it's so funny because whenever I have a party or I've got friends that come over and we have a little sniff sesh and um, they smell this and they're just like, oh, this reminds me of when my kids were little. And I'm just like, I wish I had that kind of like, I'm happy with my life where we have chosen to not have children. Um, but I'm just like, I wish there was some kind of a memory attached to this so that I would like it. <laughs> I just don't like it, but um, it does smell like baby powder. So if you like baby powder, here you go. And um, I have several friends who do get this specifically for their kids' rooms because it's not offensive. It is really strong though. So I would definitely suggest if you are going to put this in a child's room, maybe just start out with one cube. So, but that is newborn nursery. And since he says about this, Fresh, clean, and powdery, this dreamy scent evokes memories of cradling your little ones. There you go. And then another one, we're going back to fruity here. Uh, another one is Johnny Appleseed. This one is really, really great for my friends who love a really good, strong, authentic apple scent with no spice. It's really nice. This is more middle of the road. Like this is another one that's kind of like aloe water and cucumber where it, it's strong, it performs well, but it's not suffocating. Do you love that? I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm saying suffocating like it's a good thing. <laughs> Cause I like my sense to be suffocating. I just, I wanna smell it. Like every breath I take in, I wanna smell it. <laughs> I know, I'm a little too much sometimes and that's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is really good. This one you can go nose blind too, but it's a really good performer though. So that's uh, Johnny Appleseed. Uh, and it is a bestseller for good reason. Just picked Macintosh Pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. And I don't agree with the pear note in this. I just smell apples and I really like that. It does smell like a very authentic apple and you can almost smell that like apple peel. It's good. Okay, where are we at on our list, friends? Make waves. Oh wait, I added a couple in here because I forgot. Okay, um, Lush Gardenia. This is another one I don't I don't care for personally, but I've got lots of friends who do like this one. Lush Gardenia is crazy strong. Probably. Ooh, this might be. Ooh, this might be a very close second to clothesline. This one is so strong that in my mom's apartment what like the apartment that i basically grew up in my parents had, were in the same like town home for 20 years and that in that in that place she had warmed this and it, it made her smoke detector go <laughs> there was no smoke anywhere it was this <laughs> it was, this was that strong that it made her smoke detector go off so she didn't warm this there i know she warmed it in her other apartment um and it it did fine there was something obviously wrong with that detector, but um, this is crazy strong. I, I don't do florals that much. I'm very picky about my florals. This is more of a powdery floral. So if you like that, um, this is a crazy good performer. So this is Lush Gardenia. Where are we at? Lush Gardenia. 
Uh, the creamy full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. So if you love gardenia, if you love tuberose, this is going to be your jam, especially if you like strong fragrances. And that one lasts for like ever. Very, very close to that. Lilacs and violets. Another one that I don't personally care for, but um, it is a really strong performer. And definitely if you like floral scents, you got to pick this one up. This is to me, it's another, just, it's another powdery floral. And since he says, perfect combination of lilacs and violets, the smell of spring. So there you have it. I think if I had to choose this or Lush Gardenia, I would probably choose this just because it's a little bit sweeter. But it's just, it's not my thing, but I've got a lot of friends who do really like this. So lilacs and violets. So moving right along, make waves. Make waves. This one was another one that was a scent of the month last year that did, right? Yes, last year, and it came back, and I'm so happy. This one was probably one of the first ones that I can remember of a scent of the month that was a really great performer, and this is definitely more on the, like, fr <clears throat> excuse me, fresh and clean side of things, and it's make waves. Obviously, it's aquatic. It's slightly kind of cologne -y, but it's really nice. Make waves. Make your own waves in a wash of Icelandic water tumbling with dewy greens and apple blossom. And it's a really great performer. Where are we at on? This is like a maybe. Because I do really like that one. Next one is Bonfire Beach. And this one is a really great performer and really great, honestly, kind of any time of year. This used to be available all year round. And then last spring. Uh, fall and winter since he did retire it but thank goodness they brought it back this one smells it's very similar similar to bath and body works marshmallow fireside uh, but with an extra little like salty sea air note so there's you get the sweetness of the marshmallow you get that kind of woody kind of scent but this also like kind of salty sea air kind of feel to this as well so love that one very similar to marshmallow fireside from bath and body works but there's another one we're going to talk about at the end of this that's even closer but this is definitely a maybe okay my camera is about to kick me off so we're going to break this here and continue on with the last of the list and we'll talk about my top six picks okay so we just finished up with bonfire beach and we are going to move right along to satin sheets and this one is another really great performer definitely one of my mom's favorites this is a really great romantic bedroom scent this is think of a super rich musky romantic vanilla scent it's not a bakery vanilla not a, you no 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 it is nowhere near a bakery vanilla this has almost like a woodsy kind of feel to it as well but it's very kind of musky and romantic and i love it i love it um and i've said this about a million times but this always reminds me of a perfume that my mom wore when i was growing up called red and i know a lot of people have actually commented whenever i've said that and they're like yes 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 i know uh macy's or pennies used to sell it um and yeah this just smells just like that and i love it and she loves it and it's great and since he says satin sheets sensual and earthy sandalwood see there's the sandalwood there it is <laughs> Uh, perfectly paired with rich warm vanilla and that's it but when usually when you say vanilla people are thinking okay it's bakery no 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 this is not a bakery scent in any kind of way nope this would have to make my maybe list okay moving on I have so many favorites you guys and since he makes so many really great powerhouses <sighs> Oh, the struggle is real. Okay, next we have Welcome Home. This one is definitely a favorite of mine, but it is definitely more of a fall winter fragrance for sure. Because this to me reminds me of walking into a Michael store or just a craft store during the fall and winter months. Really like that start to fall where you have that like cinnamon and fall spices that you just smell and you just feel like, okay, it's time to slip on a sweater time to break out the boots i love it and it's there's like this like sweet berries with false spices it's so good but i do have a lot of friends who do actually like to warm 
uh, fall fragrances year round and this is currently available. So if you are one of my friends who likes fall fragrances all year round, pick this one up. This one, I wouldn't say it is fall spices, but it's not like specifically cinnamon. I am very picky when it comes to cinnamon scents. I appreciate cinnamon, but I don't want to be suffocated by cinnamon. That's just me. <laughs> Since he says, welcome home. Warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spices. So as I just said, there's no cinnamon. It's not that there's no cinnamon. It's just not in the forefront. And it's like nutmeg and cardamom. And there's other like, it's fall spices. It's not just like red hot cinnamon in your face, burning your nostrils. And there's like, I feel like there's like warm, sweet berries along with it. Mm, this is gonna make my maybe less. I wouldn't warm it during the spring and summer. I'll never warm it during the spring and summer. I'm gonna make its own pile. Okay, apple butter frosting. This has to make my list. I love this. I, oh my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> this is, normally I would warm this only during the, well, not even fall. It's more like the end of summer when you're like ready for fall. But recently, <laughs> I've started doing this Wax Wednesday series and I have done this mixture. If you didn't check out that video, go check it out. I will link it down below. Um, this mixture of apple butter frosting, one cube to one cube, <clears throat> one cube to one cube with churro churro. <coughs> Excuse me. It is so amazing. It's so amazing. It's kind of life changing actually. <laughs> Apple butter frosting on its own is fantastic. Mixed with churro churro adds this extra little greasy bakery element to it. It's so good. But we're not we're not talking about mixing. Um, we're talking about powerhouses and this by itself is a powerhouse and it's fantastic. This is apple cider meets a buttercream frosting. So it's like it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Mm, I love it. And the cin there is spice in this, but it's not like like I said it's not burning my nostrils or anything like that. Apple butter frosting definitely in the bakery section, folks. A heartwarming medley of cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream. This has to be a favorite. Uh, okay. Next is apple cherry strudel. This one comes with a little bit of a disclaimer. So, apple cherry strudel <clears throat> is a favorite of mine. It is a powerhouse. However, it dies down very quickly. So the performance on this isn't fantastic, but when you are warming it, when it's first starting out, like you may get, and it depends on what warmers you have and the environment that you're in, the placement of the warmers and all of that. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, it does make a difference. Um, you may get like, two solid days out of this um and then it just it's like it's strong it's strong it's strong and then it's like bam it's dead <laughs> like it's just it's not one of those scents that kind of eases out it's just like i can smell it i can smell it hey where'd it go you know it just kind of dies out so but this is absolutely amazing this is the perfect balance between apples and cherries and this like golden buttery pastry and I feel like because the, the sweetness of the cherry a lot of times can be too much, but this balances so well with the apple and that like pastry note. It's just beautiful. It's really, really beautifully done. Since he says apple cherry strudel, Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. I would have to agree because this is so good. So like I said, powerhouse, but doesn't last a crazy long time. So just know that be aware. Oh, this would have to make my maybe less. <gasps> oh. Okay. Baked apple pie. Baked apple pie has been one around with Scentsy for several years. Um, is this a bestseller? It's not a bestseller. I'm shocked. <clears throat> this one is like, this is burn your nostril cinnamon, <laughs> but it does smell very authentic to a baked apple pie. You do get that apple. You do get that like zesty. It's not zesty, spicy cinnamon. It is like red hot cinnamon. I don't know that I really get like a crust note from this, but it is like apples and cinnamon for sure. 
Sunsi says flaky crust, apples and spices combined in a strong scent. See, even in the description, they're like, y'all, this is a powerhouse. <laughs> Beware. It's strong. <laughs> so once again, this is more, in my opinion, of a fall winter scent. But for those of you who like baked apple pie all year round, there you go, sis. <clears throat> okay. Next, we are going to talk about blueberry cheesecake. This one is the Mr. Roberry's, one of his favorites. Um, and this just smells like blueberry cheesecake. And this one I always go back to. I've always smelled this and thought, okay, that's really weird. It smells exactly like a blueberry cheesecake. I know that sounds strange for me to think it's strange that it smells what it's like, what it's supposed to smell like, but it legit smells like there's a little piece of blueberry cheesecake right in here. <laughs> like, ah, I want to bite it. It smells just like a blueberry cheesecake. So I've always smelled this and thought, well, I really enjoy eating cheesecake. I don't know that I want my house to smell like cheesecake. And then I got, was it a bar or was it a brick that I start knowing me? I probably even started out with a brick. It's like, go big or go home. <laughs> so I was like, we'll give it a try. And this was always, I will always remember, this was the very first thing that Sean ever had a positive comment about for what we were warming in the house. He was like, hold up, whatever this is happening in here, you need to continue making this happen. <laughs> He's like, whatever nonsense you've been warming, forget about it, get more of this. And I was just like, oh, and I totally agree. Like when we warmed it, I was just like, I do want my house to smell like a cheesecake. <laughs> it smells so good. It is rich and decadent. You get that like rich cheesecake almost flavor from this. And then that sweet blueberry. And what trips me up every time is you can actually like smell that like graham cracker crust even like the the depth of this scent is like is not like anything else. And it's a bestseller for good reason. So it's fantastic and it's a really 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 great performer since he says uh, blueberry cheesecake thick rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries they hit it out of the park absolutely oh gosh I have like several piles happening here <laughs> I don't even know that I know what they mean okay uh next we have we've only got one two three four what's this one doing okay yeah we've got four more to talk about Next one we're going to talk about is Butter Pecan. And this one was another one that was a scent of the month last year that they brought back because it was crazy popular. I think this was one of the first ever scents of the month that like sold out because it was just that popular. And this one is really nice. I don't warm it a ton during the spring and summertime because uh, this is more like I think of like nutty, not necessarily nutty because I love pistachio ice cream. And like I said, that scent of the month for May is out of this world. But <clears throat> the pecan in this really makes it more of a fall vibe for me personally but this is really nice it's it's very very rich I feel like if you are sensitive to rich sweet scents like caramel like rich vanillas you may not like this um but it is that rich like almost like a buttercream frosting that's like a that has this like really strong pecan note. It's really good though. And Sensi says, butter pecan, a blend of candied pecan and maple folded with butter. And I don't really like maple scents, so I don't get a ton of maple from this. We had several maple scents in the past and I was like, oh, that to me is kind of sickeningly sweet. Like it's a little too, too much for me Too, it's too much. I don't smell maple in this for me personally. Even when it's warmed, the maple doesn't really come out. Um, and this is actually a really great mixer too. So if you are into mixing and you wanna give one particular scent more of a bakery feel, um, maybe try mixing it with this. This is a crazy good powerhouse, so it could actually amp up another fragrance if you want. And another one we're gonna talk about is toasted marshmallow. So this is the other one that I was talking about um, with regards to uh, Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. This is more of a dupe 
for Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. This is just, instead of that salty sea air, it's just like ooey gooey marshmallow and like that almost smoky, woodsy kind of vibe. It's really good though. And this is a really, really strong one. This one actually was in my Scentsy Club, but I took it out because, well, it's a permanent addition for the spring and summer, so. <gasps> Okay, we've got two more. <laughs> so those are the scents that are that are regular scentsy scents. These other two that I am going to talk about, they are in the current catalog, but um, they are licensed scents. So if you are planning on bundling and saving, you will need to bundle and save with other licensed bars. Like you can't bundle, um, like mix and match in your bundles. You can't do Disney and regular Scentsy scents, because there's obviously the licensing fee, so. Okay, this one I'm not a fan of, but it's crazy strong. And that is Lion King, the Lion King inspired scent, Circle of Life. And this one is crazy strong. Um, the, and this is another hit or miss, where like a lot of people are really liking it, and a lot of people are not. And I'm just falling into that not category, only because it's, it's got kind of a weird vibe for me. Like it's, it's musky and it, it, it's woodsy and it's musky and I do get the sweetness of, it's not quite vanilla. It's almost like an amber, but it's, I don't know. It's kind of, it's hard to describe. This is a very, very, very unique scent. There's nothing like it. Like you can't smell this and say, well, if you like this, you're gonna like that. This is very different. Um, and Sensi says, as the sun rises on a new day, golden amber, I got it. <laughs> Obviously I've read this description before, but I didn't read it prior to like sniffing this. Cause I try to do it like as authentic as I can with my sniffer. But as the sun rises on a new day, golden amber drifts over sandalwood and a hint of vanilla mirrors the delicate balance of life. So, I don't know. There's just something that's a little bit wonky for me. I don't hate it. It's just, it's just okay for me, but it, it's crazy strong. Like I remember making samples of this and I was just like, oh, oh goodness gracious. It's crazy strong. So it's the Lion King inspired circle of life. Last but not least is definitely one of my favorites. And this is another one that like some people have had, honestly, every single person that I've ever met that has tried this scent has absolutely loved it but there has been difference in performance some people have said that it's really light and some people agree with me and think it is really strong now is it suffocating strong it's not suffocating i would just say it's a really strong performer it's dumbo circus parade <laughs> so and if you know me you probably saw this one coming i really love this scent this this was a limited time scent uh, la last year, last year, was it in the fall? Late summer, early fall, that kind of thing. Um, and I loved it so much that it had to make it into my Scentsy Club. And I just love this so much. This is definitely one of my favorite scents ever. Now this isn't like top one. You guys know probably what my, you guys are so funny. During my live, one of my lives where I do lives, I try to do lives once a week uh, here on YouTube just to kind of hang out with you guys, not really talk sh talk shop or anything, just to kind of hang out. And someone had asked what my favorite, like my top, I think six favorite scents of all time were. And I was like, oh, okay, let me name them off. And I, I like named off what I thought. And they're like, well, what about this scent? What about this scent? And I'm like, yeah, you guys know me too well. <laughs> I'm like, dang it, I forgot about that scent. Dang it, I forgot. Scentsy just makes too many good ones. But this is definitely one of my scents that I can't live without. So if they ever do away with this one, it is club worthy for me. Like I, I would be heartbroken if I could never get the scent again. If Scentsy Club was not a thing, I would probably buy a hundred bars of this. It's that good. It's another very tropical fruity scent. This to me is pineapples and it's oranges maybe mango. <laughs> I always want to smell mango in like these tropical scents. Um, and I also took this bar the very first time I ever warmed this. Now I travel in Scentsy style. Whenever we go somewhere, I'm always bringing a warmer with me. I know it's excessive. 
I'm not sorry. I just, I really, my Scentsy brings me a lot of joy. So whenever we travel, I always bring a warmer with me and I always bring a brand new scent. So whenever we're on vacation or something, then this, a particular scent, when I smell it from then on, I always think of that vacation. And this reminds me of Marco Island because that's where we went the very first time I ever smelled this or warmed it. And it's just so fun. So uh, Dumbo Circus Parade, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest scent on earth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's so good. Sweet clementine, creamy, creamy peach, fresh mango. I got it. <laughs> I got the mango finally. Uh, and vanilla bean. It's so good, you guys. I love it. And this is a strong performer for me. When I have seen people say that it's not a strong performer, they're like, oh, it's really light. I'm like, what? Really? It's light? That's crazy. It's strong for me. This is really strong. And honestly, if it does perform just like mediocre, I would still be okay. But this for me has always been strong. So it had to make my powerhouse list. I love Dumbo. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this was such a long list, but I wanted to share this because I've had so many people ask. They're like, give me your list of like your favorite powerhouses. So I didn't necessarily pick my favorites because like I said, there are some that I don't particularly care for, but I knew some scents were powerhouses that, you know, I don't necessarily care for but it maybe it may speak to you so figured this was a good video to do holy cannoli thank you so much for hanging out with me for such a long video um thank you so much for watching like i said i have been going live about once a week um i am going to be going live tomorrow i've been doing it on mondays the last couple weeks but we're gonna mix it up a little bit we're gonna go live tomorrow so make sure if you want to hang out with me <laughs> We're just hanging out and chit chatting um, tomorrow, which is Saturday. What what is what is what does that make it? The twenty fifth? Is that what is that is that what's happening? Yes, yes, the twenty fifth, nine a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've already set up a reminder, so if you um, you can go into the YouTube channel section. <laughs> you can set a reminder if you want to come hang out so i hope you found this helpful thank you so much for watching if you're new please subscribe let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts about some of these uh powerhouses oh my gosh we did not even talk about my top six because <sighs> this video is crazy long okay so these are my must one two three four five i would have to choose one more <gasps> well it has to go with this okay that was easy uh my top six well how about we'll do because if I do a six pack, right? <sighs> okay, that's what we're going to, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm doing a, si a Scentsy six pack and a Disney. So Disney is obviously Dumbo. I, can't, I have to have that um, in no particular order. But if I had to do a, a six, six bar bundle, toasted marshmallow, Camu Camu, Pink Cotton, Rainbow Sherbet, of course, Apple Butter Frosting, and Skinny Dippin'. So those would be my top six picks of regular Scentsy Scents and my top like Disney pick. <laughs> so. All right, for reals, I'm leaving you guys alone now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will check in with you guys tomorrow for the live and also in my next video. Bye, guys.